Oh, someone's there. Hello. Nice to meet you. Just a minute, please. Just let me get out of this vineyard. It's really steep here. Well, first of all, welcome to my vineyard. My name is Lucas, and I am a winemaker. We are right in the middle of Germany here. There are a total of 13 wine-growing regions in Germany, and great varieties such as Riesling, Pinot Gris, and Pinot Noir. Here we grow Pinot Noir, and we are going to harvest it today. And afterwards, the grapes go straight to the winery. But first, you should start by admiring the great view. Hey, Lucas, the work does not do itself. You heard. I'll have to climb back down. The voice you heard up there, that was my wife. Hi, I'm Carol, and you have picked the perfect day to visit us. We are right in the middle of harvesting. We work towards this moment for the entire year. This is our absolute highlight. But wait, I've also got some pictures for you. Just a second. This one is taken in winter when the vines are still covered in snow. Then we start cultivating. It's what you see here. We are pruning the vines and we do all of this by hand. In the end, we get a fruit-bearing cane, which needs to be tied to these two wires at the base. And here, you see a cluster as it looks in April. When you see the grapes now, all of them are wonderfully red already. We have cut off the leaves so the sun may directly hit the grapes and they can ripen well. This is very important. But it's probably best if I simply show you a bunch of grapes. Just wait a minute. Take this one here. It looks great. It's a beautiful bunch and it looks fantastic. It's absolutely healthy and the berries have a lovely red color. And they also taste super sweet. Now they are ready to be harvested. Once the grapes have reached this degree of sweetness, we start to hand-pick them all. This means we cut every single bunch off with grape shears. It takes a lot of us together half a day until we have harvested this entire vineyard here. We have another full container up here. <laughs> you heard it. We have to climb back up. Let's go to the winery. And what about you? You have to come along. Off we go. Feathers? Yep. Bye. And you? Come on, let's go. Have a look down here now. Take in these steep slopes. This is perfect for our grapes. The sun can shine down on them freely and the grapes can ripen really well. This will definitely result in a great wine. Okay, now we're back home at the winery. This means for our grapes that they will get processed now. Processed means we let the red grapes ferment now, skins and all, since red wine gets its color from the skins only. And the white grapes go straight into the wine press. Well, we have to continue unloading, but you might like to have a look around the cellar. Well, this is our vaulted cellar. Our grandfather already used it to ferment wine. It was built in 1870, and we try to combine traditional and modern methods in here. For us, modern means to use stainless steel. Our freshly pressed must runs down from above into the tanks down here. Then we add yeast and leave the lot to ferment at about 18 degrees. And after two weeks, we have a crisp Riesling. However, 14 days is nothing. We have our wooden casks here filled with last year's Pinot Noir that will stay in there for another full year until it will be bottled. Wooden casks are great, 
the wood breathes and the red wine gets the air that makes it mature further. It's actually still too soon to taste it now, but that won't stop me. Drawing a sample is really the best thing about being a winemaker. Lucas? Oh, right. Thank you very much. The colour is great already. And so is the fragrance. Seems that our work has paid off. Lucas? Mm -hmm. I know that you really want to sample your Pinot Noir, but I, I would actually prefer a nice Riesling. White? Or maybe red.